Hi folks, my name is Vladimir and in today's video, video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create servo motor for slot connection. In my previous tutorial we have learned how to place this 3D model and how it to work with cylinder constraint or slot constraint. Yeah? So try to check my previous video tutorial, you will learn more or you can learn how to create a curve for a slot connection. Yeah, so let's continue. And in today's video tutorial, you will learn how to create a servo motor. So what we can do, you know that I'd like to show you always more and more for some Creo feature. And in today's video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use a dragger and this constraint over here is really nice icon motion axis constraint and if you select this icon and if you select this connection slot axis the system will show you automatic automatically the position where the system place it so you can see here that right now my value is almost seven millimeters so i can try to use the 25 or something bigger for example 35 so it's up to you you can check you can move it a little bit so for example 39 will be quite good or here is a question if i would like to place directly in the middle of the curve i need to calculate a length of curve so you can use the analysis and you can use the curve measure length and select the curve you know that is the possible select right mouse button and come from left mouse and the system automatically select whole curve and you can see that my value is this one so i can use the copy and over here really easy place and divide by two the system will automatically count the time engine or you can only select what you want so approximately in the middle yeah you can right now create a snapshot you can change the name for example position and select enter if i will close it i can again go back and i will jump to application mechanism yeah in the mechanism mode we would like to use some information here and again if i will select this connection slot axis the system allowed to me to create servo motor over here in servo motor is couple of information you would like to specify everything is placed in the profile detail tab and i'd like to explain to you a little bit more what is it here so over here i'd like to specify that i like to use the velocity i like to move here yeah based on the velocity i like to move millimeter per second so here is the question if i would like to continuously go for example 35 or 37 yeah it will be something almost at the end because you know that the length of the curve from the middle on over here is 38 millimeters so 37 is quite good and you can see here in the graph that if i will run analysis the speed will be always same so it will be going on the left side for example if you see the arrow here and here is the question how to get and go back so I think that use the function type constant, it's not so good. So follow here. And if you select, for example, cosine, the system allow to you to see the shape of the cosine. And again, what you would like to move, you would like to specify some value and how many seconds you would like to move, for example, six seconds. Okay. So I'd like to work with velocity and i will come from ok and then what we would like to create is analysis so select analysis create new and i like to use our snapshot so i'd like to start always from the middle if you will move your dragger i will show you later the system will jump in the middle and then run analysis okay some information here 
Servo motor is defined, so you can see here my motor is here, and in the preference tab I like to set frame rate. So for example, 25 picture per second, and end time 10, 20, 15 is up to you. Yeah, how many seconds you would like to run analysis? And if you right now run analysis, the system go and calculate information based on the graph what we have specified for our servo motor. So if I will select OK, you can see that my tracker I can reuse and move to a different place. You can create a new position for snapshots or you can modify a servo motor. Servo motor is here. You can use the edit definition. You can again change some value. You don't want to go to 37 millimeters, for example, only 34. You can change it. You can calculate and manipulate with graph. For example, move it a little bit here. Yeah. So it's up to you how you change it, work with it, try it, and then run your prepared analysis one more time. So select this icon and run. You can see that my position is not in the middle, but for our analysis, I specified run from this position. Yep. So system will jump to selected position and run analysis. Yes, and you can see the system will go and run. Okay, what is the last one what I would like to show you today is how to work with playback. So select the playback again. Here is the question and some option if you would like to display the time or, or manipulate what you would like to see and so on. Again, some another information in another tutorial not today but soon okay and you can place video animation yeah you can specify your which frame you would like to use or you can specify the speed and then you can run yeah so i hope so that you like my video tutorials and again you can use the capture you can create some AVI file, specify dimension, frame rate, photo rendering, and so on. So I hope so that you like this video tutorial and you will share this information with your colleague. Thank you one more time. Bye-bye. Vladimir. -bye.